Camera number 121 of 365, and it's the turn of the Yashica 200 AF. Autofocus camera, and uh, as a consequence, it requires batteries to operate. So batteries are housed in the grip. So let's just undo that grip and show you the battery chamber. So we can see the uh, battery chamber here. Uh, the little cradle that houses the four, there's one behind the back, four AAA batteries can uh, actually be removed out completely, uh, allowing you to use a 2CR5 battery if you prefer. So you have two options there as regards powering the camera, but I selected the uh, easily accessible uh, AAA batteries. And we simply place the, have to, this little hinge, don't know whether you can see that, see that there, there's a little hinge that has to be located in the correct place before the uh, battery will go in, or the, the uh, handle will go back in. It's very difficult to do this one-handed, so let's try and do this. There we go. We, uh, screw the battery chamber in its place. There we go. On the base of the camera, just have a, a tripod uh, mount and uh, film rewind, which uh, you can do at any stage. It's automatically rewound into the film uh, chamber, or film roll rather, uh, and in fact the camera advances the film as well in the same way. So fully automatic. So we have, uh, looking on the front, you can see the uh, Yashica 35 to 70 millimeter, 3.5 to 4.5, which has very useful little macro function. Found that incredibly useful. Uh, to take the the lens off, we just simply press the release button and rotate. You can see the uh, the contacts of the the lens. And then on the other uh, on the same side as the lens release, we have uh, the option to select autofocus or manual focus. The autofocus is, as is expected, I suppose, of these uh, cameras of this age. Uh, it's it's not slow, but it's not super fast. Let's put it uh, that way. But it's certainly very usable, I found. Okay, uh, that's it pretty much uh, on the front. So looking at the top plate, we have the uh, lock, which turns the camera off. Uh, we can go to on, and then that allows us to use uh, the camera. If we want to have uh, exposure lock, we can simply place that uh, against that marker there. And then when we focus the camera, it will indeed uh, lock the exposure once it's uh, achieved a lock. Let's just put the lens on because uh, it's not going to operate unless we do that. There we go. There we go, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear that uh, focus noise. We go. Okay, uh, the drive button, as uh, the name suggests, allows us to choose our drive mode, which is a single um, release. And then by using the rocker button here, uh, we can also choose a self timer with autofocus. So we half press it, achieve focus, and then it will set the self timer. So let's see if we can. Just do that to show you. There we go. Okay. And then uh, holding down the drive button a further moment and then just moving it once again, we get to continue, continual autofocus. So it allows us to track a subject and keep releasing. Uh, that as a consequence, it doesn't always um, achieve focus, so sometimes you'll get blurred fo uh, photographs, uh, but it does its best. Uh, regarding the mode button, which is the next button down, that allows us to go through uh, manual, uh, shutter pri uh, aperture priority, beg your pardon, program mode, and shutter priority. Looking through the viewfinder, the only information we get is a green confirmation of focus in program mode and aperture mode 
and shutter priority mode. And indeed in manual mode we get that. But with manual mode you get uh, no um, indication, of course, of uh, correct exposure. So you are literally on your own. The only information you get is on this top plate. So if we put it in manual mode, and there you can see, I don't know if you can see that, we have an uh, indication of uh, shutter count, our um, shutter speed and our aperture speed. But there's no indication of whether that's correct or not. So uh, not metered, I think is uh, the correct expression. It's an unmetered manual mode. But the other modes, you do get that benefit. The other button that's uh, on this left hand side is program, which is like a factory reset. Takes us back to uh, our program mode. We've mentioned the uh, rocker button that allows us to go through our different uh, options, our rubberized uh, shutter button. Uh, we have a little port here which uh, allows us to put in a, an electronic uh, cable release, not a manual, sadly, but uh, an automatic one. Okay, to open the film chamber door, we just simply press and uh, slide down, and then we can see it has DX coding. Uh, if the film doesn't have DX coding, the camera will default to 100, um, 100 ISO. Sorry. Okay, and that is it. There we go. And in fact, you can see that uh, just there. Okay, so that's it. That's camera number 121 of 365, the Yashica 200 AF.